Hi Brady, I like your channel. I love your channel. And I'd like to take your channel, your challenge, <laughs> your channel challenge to roll a Yahtzee. But I'm afraid of getting bored and quitting. So I'm adding an extra twist. I'd like to test the law of large numbers, which states the average of the results obtained from a large number of trials should be close to the expected value and will tend to become closer as more trials are performed. So since the odds of me rolling a Yahtzee are 1 in 1,296, I am going to roll 5 dice 1,296 times and see how the distribution looks when we make a graph of it. So since the average of the sides of a die are, is 3.5, the average roll with five dice should be 17.5. So you'd expect there to be around 17 and 18, a high point, and then the curve going down as we go to the outside. So I'll be tallying the sums between the rolls, and I'll make a graph of the distribution, and we'll see how it works out. And while I'm at it, I'll really be hoping to get a Yahtzee. Yes! <laughs> okay, Brady, I did it. It was not fun, but I did it. It really wasn't fun. <laughs> That's not a joke. I found myself wondering, why am I doing this, and when do I get to stop? But the distribution worked out pretty well, uh, except for the 15 and the 16. I, I kept rolling too many 15s and 16s, which uh, led me to to uh, to learn one thing at least, and that is that although I was wanting to be objective and scientific and, and mathematical, my emotions were playing along like okay this this the 17 is is lagging behind so i was rooting for the 17 and i was hoping the 16 would wouldn't uh, be rolled uh so i guess that's something as a mathematician to be aware of uh i also did notice one other nice little trick and that was since i had to tally up the the dice between the rolls, I needed to get quite fast at that, so so I added in groups of 5, 5, 10, 15, and then whatever was left over, 17, or 2 or 3 was left over, so 17 or 18. And uh, so adding in groups of 5, I noticed a pattern, that there's one number, aside from the 5, of course the 5 is always easy to add, that there's one number that is especially 
friendly to this type of counting when you have to do with dice. And that is the number four. Four. Because a four is the only number between one and six with this characteristic. It can find two different partners. Four plus one is five, or four plus six is ten. So, thanks Brady, I guess I learned something.